So where are we today with, have we still got a job as a 3D artist in the end of 2025, coming into 2026? And you can see behind me, I've got Coca-Cola here, and they're kind of iconic for holiday season, holiday adverts, and they've gone completely AI. So in a sense, as 3D artists, this is what we're up against, AI completely replacing any artists whatsoever. The first time they did this was last year, and it didn't get a particularly good response. Lots of people saying it had that uncanny valley feeling because they had people on there and their expressions just didn't look right. Well, how have they got on this year? You can see in the bottom corner here, it's got created by Real Magic AI. And they've gone with animals, so we don't get that uncanny valley with human faces. The music is kind of typical. I'm not sure if the music is AI or not, actually. It's got a very sharp, crisp look to it, that classic sort of AI look. And on first glance, you might look at this and think, oh, that's really excellent. But when you look a little bit closer, you can see all the faults still. AI isn't quite there. It still has an uncanny valley feel to it in certain places. I'm not saying it's dreadful, and lots of people probably won't notice that really. So from an artist's perspective, I don't think it's great. It kind of lacks a human element. The animals don't really look like they're looking at anything. They look like they're looking, all looking off into a separate space in the distance. So as an animator, you would fix that. You would sort of make them look at the trucks going past like so, but the animals just sort of stare at nothingness. And it's bits like that that feel just a little bit uncomfortable to my mind anyway. And it still keeps it within the realm of obvious AI art. I don't want to be overcritical because actually they've done quite a good job in many ways. It's very hard with AI to prompt and get a video that works and you can put together in slots like this. So this is the best possible that AI has to offer. Coca-Cola is a really interesting case to look at because in 2023, they spent 1.1 billion on a five-year deal with Microsoft to deploy generative AI art across its entire business. And in 2023, they came out with this advert called Masterpiece. And I think it was actually quite good, to be honest. But there's a lot of thought gone into this. There's a lot of creativity and creative process. And there's live action in there as well as AI. And they've actually merged it together relatively well. And this was two years ago. There's a clever story to it. It's got a nice flow. And jumping in and out these masterpieces is quite a clever idea. Jump forward to 2024 and they went all in with AI. So this is all AI generated. There's no live action element to this at all. And people didn't particularly like this one. So much so that I couldn't seem to find it on the Coca-Cola YouTube channel. I had to go to a different channel to find the actual advert for 2024. So I think they might've taken it off even. I wouldn't actually say it's horrendously bad or anything, but you can tell it's AI. It doesn't make you feel very comfortable. It's got that sort of awkwardness to it. And again, that uncanny valley that people keep saying, especially when it comes to the human faces, they just look a little bit lifeless, odd, looking in the wrong directions. And it, again, feels a little bit uncomfortable. And this advert was criticized a lot because of those factors. And what surprises me the most is that they didn't go back to the 2023 model where they were incorporating AI into live action and there was a creative, more of a creative process it seemed, and a storyline and it was quite clever. They just went all in again with AI saying, well, it's just gonna get better, isn't it? So we're just gonna go for it again and hit them with it again. <laughs> This time they kind of learned from their mistakes. They decided to go with just animals because there's less of that uncanny valley feel. And to be fair, AI has jumped in quality from 2024 to 2025. So there is a marked difference between the two and this one is better than the earlier version. It's quite interesting to listen to the behind the scenes video because they've got an AI voice doing the voiceover. The making of the Coca-Cola 2025 holidays are coming at. It really feels like this work is, you know, actively shaping how storytelling is evolving. It shows Coca-Cola really reimagining the creative workflow, especially in this AI era. I feel like that's even an AI script because that's the sort of thing you get from AI, isn't it? When you ask it to write a script for you, it's over the top, over kind of flowery and um, superlatives in there. It just sounds very cheesy and they're trying to make it sound natural, but it sounds very automated and robotic and reimagining um, storytelling. I, I don't think they really are. I think they were 
when they first went for it in 2023, that was a clever idea. Here it's just more of the same, but just very slightly better quality. So is this working out for Coca-Cola? Well, it sounds like it kind of is in some ways. They may well have saved about 50% on their advertising budget, and their advertising budget is roughly between four to five billion pounds a year, sorry, billion dollars a year. And I guess that's what it comes down to. If they can get away with this, and it doesn't affect their sales too badly, then they'll probably go with the savings. But I kind of wonder whether this is going to slowly detract from their brand. At one point, people were extremely excited to see the Coca-Cola advert and the holidays are coming theme tune. I feel like that excitement is going to wane and it's just going to become one of those ordinary things that, oh yeah, it's the Coca-Cola advert again. And I think it's essential for brands to have that excitement to them if they want to keep their position at the top of their game. And time will tell whether this is going to have a negative effect overall on their sales. And whether they'll attribute it to the AI being bad or not, it's difficult to say. There's some quite interesting facts behind this. There was 70,000 pieces of AI footage created. That, as a job, I don't know, it's, to me it sounds a bit demoralizing. I really wouldn't like to be one of those people being the prompt engineer and coming out with the videos. And you'd have to just tweak it all the time and add a different prompt, a different level and try and get it to this point. There were 20 people working on it. But again, it's kind of impressive that they managed to get the team down to 20 people and create Coca-Cola's advert. And it's quite amazing that they've managed to produce a whole advert with just AI. So what does this mean for us as 3D artists? Are we going to get taken over by AI and we, are we going to lose our jobs? Well, at the moment, in terms of the advertising, uh, yes, some jobs are being taken away and it is much cheaper to produce this than it is to employ an artist studio to come up with something that would be better in the long run, I think, but it'd be a lot more expensive. How far can they go with this? Will they be able to produce a whole film using AI. Well, there is an example of this. Lionsgate partnered with the AI company Runway, and their goal was to make an entire animated feature film. The partnership was announced in 2024, and they were going to train the AI on Lionsgate's film library. But there wasn't enough there to train the AI, and it didn't get good results. So it's hit a roadblock in that area. And even if it manages to get to a point where it can produce that quality work, a bit like what we're seeing in the recent 2025 Coca-Cola holiday season advert, there's still a major limitation in the short burst nature of the footage that can only last for a few seconds, and then they have to jump to the next clip. And at the moment, it struggles with much longer clips, and it's all right with things like animals, hence why they're doing it with an animated film called Critters. They're not going to have human beings in there. But an AI feature film with real people in, with longer clips, with consistency, I think that's going to be extremely hard to achieve. So whilst we probably will see more advertising like this, we'll see clips used regularly, I imagine, particularly in advertising where short, sharp clips will make sense. But I do think we're a long way away from getting rid of 3D artists entirely. My suggestions and advice as always is to make sure you understand the fundamentals, keep being creative, keep having fun with your work, try not to get too upset and angry about these progresses that are being made. I would say probably don't go too specialised in what you're doing, but be adaptable to roll with the changes that might happen in the industry. I do think as well that people will get used to this AI art and it will just become more and more of AI slop in their eyes because it gets very recognisable after a while. And I think there will be a call for more quality content from real artists. And in fact, I imagine as well that people probably won't like the fact that AI is taking over and they'll like that human hand, that human element. So personally, in my opinion, I think we're safe for maybe a few more years. It's difficult to say though. So hopefully this video is some way helpful to you or informative. If you've got any questions or want to join in the discussion, then do comment below. I do read all the comments and I'm interested to hear what your opinion is. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.